So I want to let you in on the truth of owning a Starbucks franchise in 2023. To be specific, Starbucks is a franchise in some countries, but in the United States, it's a, a licensed business and franchising is of course a type of licensing. In today's video, I'm going to give you the lowdown on opening a Starbucks franchise our licensed business in the United States in 2023, see if it's worthwhile and unpeel the onion to see if this is a coffee franchise opportunity that you want to open up in 2023. So taking a step back, Starbucks has been around for 40 plus years. The stock has had an incredible rally, it has grown 50X plus since the IPO, an incredible return on investment that has benefited shareholders the most for the licensed locations in the United States, they operate a license model outside the United States. It's a franchise model, depending on the country, of course, but in the United States, there's only about 7% of the Starbucks locations are operated by licensee. So it could be a hotel owner. Imagine a, a Marriott franchisee, a hotel owner that runs a Marriott branded hotel. And then in the lobby, there, there's a Starbucks or a Starbucks attached to it. There are plenty of Starbucks just on uh, the street of our office, Lincoln Road. I can think of two Starbucks that I, I pass on my morning commute. They're most likely operated by licensed as recently Starbucks corporate has been opening up principally drive through locations across the United States. And at the end of the day, Starbucks corporate is the one that gets the first say on where they want to be opening up and the locations that they don't want to own and operate themselves, they'll often provide those locations to sophisticated licensees. To be a Starbucks sophisticated licensee, you generally have to have a pretty high net worth above $5 million, already extensive experience in the restaurant and hospitality space. So this isn't for someone that is getting into entrepreneurship for the first time. There can be exceptions if you were a general manager at a 50 unit restaurant chain, but generally this is for sophisticated operators that have a lot of money or are able to partner with very wealthy people and maybe not have as much capital. And the numbers were quite surprising as I, I looked more into the Starbucks business model. Top line sales anywhere from a million to $1.5 million for a Starbucks location. Imagine you're, you're making a 18%, 20% profit margin, which is on the high end, uh, given the increases in labor costs across much of the United States. You're looking at 200K, 250K. The build out on a Starbucks, so what Starbucks corporate will do, they'll send a team to, from Seattle to fit out your location, uh, that beautiful barista bar, and a lot of the furnishes and fixtures, that I believe is 415,000, but that doesn't include all the build out, working capital needs, everything that you need to open up the door and break even for your Starbucks, which we estimate is in the million plus range. So in terms of an investment, it's gonna take you anywhere from four to seven years to recoup your initial capital investment back if you open up a, a Starbucks coffee shop. There are exceptions like if you already own a hotel and you're able to open up uh, a Starbucks location on a cheap for $400,000, $500,000, potentially you can recoup your capital faster. But overall, there's other coffee franchises that people are getting their money back much faster, such as Seven Brew, Tim Hortons now um, unique drive through model, Dutch Bros that no longer offers franchises, but those drive through small footprint concepts that you can't open as a Starbucks franchisee or licensee, I should say, because the corporate is taking on all the drive through locations. So Starbucks corporate keeps the best locations, similar business model to Panda Express in the United States, where there's 2000 plus Panda Expresses, very few of them are, are run by licensees. Same thing with Starbucks. So it can be a good option for particular hotel owners that might already have a, a pretty easy space to configure a, a Starbucks in their existing hotel, or potentially if you're looking to open up numerous Starbucks and then potentially make more money when you sell your 10 Starbucks locations, 15 Starbucks locations. But if you're just looking to open up one or two and you don't already own and operate a hotel or have an amazing site uh, that you can get your hands on and get approved by Starbucks, there's generally better coffee franchise opportunities to explore. I hope you like this video. If you did, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section what you liked about it, if there's other businesses you'd like us to review as well. Thanks.